part or here, either way. I like to play it in the second inversion. Second inversion puts F in the middle. So you got C, F, and you got A. So play that over A flat. And so that's a cool thing there. So it's like your third major chord over A flat. And that goes really good to your chordal chord. Remember the B flat, E flat, A flat that we covered a long time ago? That goes real good. And these are three finger chords, but they're different kind of chords. They're just not major over major bass. They're chords where we're kind of playing with the, the tones, different basses and things like that. And that's when you get into creating unique and advanced sounds. And you just got to play around with this. Don't even try to act like me. Don't try to act like your favorite you know, musician. Just be creative and use your own creative strength and uh, use, use your own will and mind power and you can do anything. Just kind of play with different chords and change up basses and you'll come up with some chords even beyond the scope of this course here. You just got to sit down and you got to practice and you'll come up with different things that work best for you and things that sound good that you might find by accident. So let's go back. You got your third over A flat. You can even put your four over A flat. So we can put G flat major, which is normally like this. We can put that over. And that's just your classic five chord. Or you can play it like this. You know what? Here's another trick. The four, since you're already on the four major chord or a G flat major chord, you can actually come down. Let's look at this. To the F major chord. And then resolve. So So that sounds really good. You got a So you already learned that. That was a and then 